desktop. Good afternoon, one and all. I welcome you all to the new academic year 2023-24 of CP Goenka International School, Thane. It gives me great, great, great pleasure for all of you who will be joining for the next academic year. Myself, Shilpa Melwani, the primary coordinator. Uh, we will have Sharmila ma'am, principal ma'am in some time. She is busy with another meeting. So I will take you ahead with the PPT. So let's us begin with our vision. As we all know, our vision is to develop and, and ensure the growth and development of each and every student who can stimulate realization of academic, physical, cultural, and spiritual aspirations. Our mission to provide an environment conducive to help students realize their potential, true potential, subsequently helping them blend in seamlessly into ever-changing society to assist our students in understanding that a true global citizen is one who can respond, respect diversity of gender, cultural, and a cultural background. Our guiding light, Mrs. Lech Savitri Devi Goenka and Mr. Chandra Prakash Goenka. Our school is named under Ch uh, Chandra pra Prakash Goenka, which is CP Goenka. Our trustees, our management trustees who are always on campus is Mr. Sandeep Goenka, chairman, Mr. Ch uh, Paresh Thakkar, co-founder, and Ms. Archana Goenka, the director. Our ever smiling, Ms. Jeshri Kumar, our Chief Operating Officer, our Principal Ma'am, Sharmila Madhivale, myself, Shilpa Melwani, Primary Coordinator for the Primary Section. Okay, now this is an important slide. Uh, parents, our school timing from Monday to Thursday is 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. We have a short break, which is two short breaks, which is one uh, at 9.25 and the other one, which is long break at 12.35. We expect uh, learners to carry vegetarian food, which is very important, and also healthy food. Fridays is an extended day, we all know. It's from 8 to 3.30 p.m. A day in school. After arrival in school, assembly prayers are conducted, attendance is taken, and the diaries are checked back for the notes. We are expecting learners to reach school latest by 8 a.m., as there will be a repeated if it is repeated, there will be late mark given to the learners. Two late arrivals in a month will lead to a third late arrival, which is they will be sent home. So we have to adhere to the timings this year. We will be not giving any leverages to it. Leaving school during school hours is strictly not permitted. Only important events at home like a you know, a mishap in the family or a passport app appointment. Half days will not be given during the exam. They have to be there in the school. Uh, two years back, we had an ISA program that, had, that we conducted. It was a collaboration with schools internationally. We will be doing it this year also. It's an integrated curriculum. It's described as one of the connects different areas of study by cutting across subject matters. So there will be like uh, projects on folk attires globally, Asian culinary, beautiful global destination where our school will present this to another school and vice versa. So it is a collaborative learning between the two schools. Yes, um, homework will be given this year too. And like always, we will be uh, having a homework cycle which will be given to the learners. Homework will be assigned to learners in each subject periodically. Learners must utilize the time after the school day or weekends to complete the homework. Submission of work must be done as per the homework cycle given by the teachers. Also, parents, we have uh, noted that the books do not come with the learners when the homework is given. Kindly follow the timetable for the same. This is how the timetable would look. The books, the book list has already been given to you and I hope all of you all have purchased the books as per the list given. Subject alloc uh, allocated for each, uh, the period allocated for each subject are as follows. English language 5, English literature 5, Hindi 5, Marathi will be given 1, Mathematics 7, Science 3, Social Studies or EBS will be 3, ICT 3, French if opted 1, 
instead of French, there will be SUST, which is supervised studies, where the learners will be completing their work. Then there is life skills or GK, one period, dictation, one period, show and tell, uh, grade five will be having circle time. Subject taught in primary section, just like grade four, it's the same. Uh, yes, uh, similarly, how we were uploading our work on EduSprint, it continues the same way, the links, the videos, and uh, all the textbook PDFs, the notebook PDFs will be uploaded time to time as in when the chapter gets over. Do not expect teachers to upload the chapters before it is done in the class. It will be given to you only after the chapter is finished in the class. And the purpose for this uploading of notebook work is only for the parents' reference. The learners will might as well finish it in the class. If they miss out, they will finish it in school itself. Now, this is the most important slide for the grade five parents because up till now, grade four was taken in a very different way. You had two term and assessments and, or, and an ongoing assessment that was conducted during the midterm. Now, in grade five, again, there will be term one and term two. In term one, there will be a tool-based assessment, which will be of 30 marks. There will be a pen and paper midterm assessment, which will be of 30 marks. Now, this midterm assessment um, the timetable and the syllabus will be informed to the parents well in advance. Similarly, term and assessment will be a thick 60 marks assessment for which it is a scale to 80 marks. 20 marks will be for MCQ, which is multiple cho choice questions, and 40 marks for the subjective. 10 marks internal assessment will be given for their uh, uh, completion of work, their classwork, their homework, and discipline, and uh, how they contribute in the class. Similarly, term two will be the same. So this averages out to 130 marks, which will be scaled to 100 marks. If the marks are increased or de decreased under any circumstances, uh, circumstances, then they have brought down to the mark above marks as they also represent the percentages. So. Um, Again, I will be telling you the term and assessment and the midterm assessment will have a timetable to be followed and the syllabus will be given to the learners. During the assessment, the learners are supposed to be present. These exams will not be reconducted at any given time. It will be done at the same given day as the timetable has been given to you in advance. So it will be conducted on the same day. Tool-based assessments are uninformed and it's a go ongoing assessment. Midterm and term and assessment will be formally informed. Assessment timetable and syllabus will be uploaded in advance. For current academic year, term end will be conducted in October 2023. Assessment will not be reconducted in case the learner is unwell and a medical certificate is submitted, he or she will be exempted from the assessment. Ongoing assessment can be conducted during classroom instruction and consists of the following. Students' response and participation in classroom activities and discussion, observation made by the teachers, speaking, listening and reading activities, individual products projects and assignments, worksheets done by learners. So these are the following which ways we will be conducting the assessment for term one and term two. Points to remember, if the learner is unwell, please do not send them to school. Even during the exam last year, the child was really unwell and was told to just cut come and take the exam. But parents, please understand health comes first for the learners. If you submit a doctor's certificate, a medical certificate for the learner, the child will be exempted. Exempted here, that, that particular exam will not be counted at all. So do not worry that, you know, my child will uh, miss on the average for the grade. Do not worry on the same. Okay, PTM in school will be conducted at the end of August month. Schedule will be shared soon. In case you wish to meet any teacher, kindly send a request in the school diary. Appointment will be provided. 
if you need appointment with a coordinator or headmistress or principal man, kindly send a request on the email ID. Email ID is provided at the end of the session. Please avail the coupon from the school fee counter. Do not send cash with the learners for the same. Now, this was something to um, which was continuing in the last uh, year, academic year. We are not going to accept cash this time at all. We will provide the learner with the particular food which is to be given to them. But coupons is a must. These are the IDs that um, you can contact on the COO, principal ma'am, and the coordinator myself. So any queries, anything related to anything that you need to connect with, you can send a email on this number. This is for the admin and transport related issues for LC queries related to admission, pending documents, queries related to fee pay. These are the important email IDs. Thank you, parents. I would like to take a few questions, if any. School timings cannot be modified. It's going to be the same because that is the timing the school offers. So it's not going to change um, at all. Any other questions? I'll be waiting for five minutes. Since it's a YouTube live, it takes a little glitch. By the time I wind up, I get questions. So I'll be waiting. A few, uh, I would like to give few information on is on the books and the materials bought to the school, which I faced last year were the pens that grade five is going to carry. Parents, please make sure they do not carry expensive pens because it's lost and we cannot do anything about it. So it's better you send a 10 or a 20 rupee pen, maximum three pens in the compass box, because I know how kids are. Uh, they want to get all fancy pen and, you know, share and show off in the class. So please avoid that in um, this year. Bus timing also will be the same. The pickup and drop won't change. Uh, just that few first week, I would like the parents to have little patience because it's a new bus route for all the learners. And by the time they're collected and sent. So I would like you all to have little patience for the, at least for the one week, first week of the school. Timetable uh, time table that shared over here was only for the, uh, uh, to show you the example, how the uh, timetable would be. We will be sharing the timetable and the class list very soon. Uh, school bag is optional. You can carry the school bag from the uh, from home, but not a, again, not a very fancy one. School, if you want to opt, you will be getting it. Yeah, uh, so cafeteria, I would really uh, appreciate if the coupons are bought. And if you want, go ahead with the package if it is... Um, a child is carrying it more frequently, a coupon, you'd rather go for the package. Classrooms have CCTV camera. A school is well equipped with that. Okay, now in grade five, we are going to use pen. Uh, most uh, Mostly from the second month or the third month, we will start with the pen, blue color pen, the learners will be using. Again, I will say, please do not uh, send any expensive pens with the learners. And best thing is to label whatever you're sending with the learners because grade five, um, they want to get things which, you know, a, a diary or a compass box, which is fancy. It will be really appreciated that whatever things they bring, it is labeled well. Yeah, any more questions? Uh, new caterer tasting set. Do not worry about the caterer. Uh, we have, uh, ha we've had him earlier also. It's Brijwasi only. But uh, do not worry about, uh, if you have any allergy with any form of food kindly mention it in the diary and the class teacher should be informed and also an email would be appreciated so that it can be taken care of and it's not missed on 
teacher's name uh, you will come to know only once the child comes to the class he will be introducing his teacher to you once he is in the class and uh, subject uh, the division of the class has already been given in the report card but i think there will be changes for grade 5 as grade 5 had eight division earlier but we have cut down to seven divisions so grade 5h soon once the class list is ready it will be sent to you by the 10th of this month so you will exactly know who is there in which division uh, evaluation for french paper yes it will be evaluated there will be a pen and paper given for it same there will be a tool based assessment also so the exam will be carried on for french also yes there will be four exam uh, we always had four exam it's just that till grade 4 it was not uh, um, disclosed. It was a non-disclosed ongoing assessment for midterm, but for grade five, it will be told to you. And do not worry, there will be a uh, there will be a proper orientation. This is just to give you a gist of grade five, but there will be a uh, program that will he be held in school with the class teacher. So once you receive it, you will be soon having a teacher orientation program with the parents. All right, where she will explain you intensely every detail things that you need to know about the assessment, about how to carry the books, which books to carry. The only thing is maintain your timetable. If the child is taking the book home, it needs to be bought back. I hope I have catered to most of your queries. Okay. Uh, do not worry. Uh, we do not exceed, exceed to uh, 28, more than 28 learners in the class. So we made sure that that many learners are only there in the class. So do not worry on that front. And um, uh, for cafeteria and bus related queries, the admin will be able to uh, answer your uh, queries. And do not worry, the, we have taken all the feedbacks from the parents regarding the same. And we hope and, uh, uh, and uh, keep you in faith that we have done a lot of changes in that too. So thank you so much, parents, for removing your time and uh, coming forward for this uh, POP, parent, uh, parent Orientation Program. And do not worry, we will keep in touch with you. You can always mail and uh, stay in contact. Thank you so much and have a nice day.